Hello, I'm doing a short video here. I'm um, just showing a, a doing a little quick review of some of the issues I've been having with my um, X55 SciTech Hotes. Um, I just got this two weeks ago, and I was having um, a few issues with this. I actually just got this set up a few days ago, and I've noticed that when I was playing games, there were some unexpected things happening, and I've pretty much narrowed it down to the Hotas is doing uh, ghost presses basically whenever I'm playing my game. So basically, this de this video is just going to demonstrate uh, these ghost presses are actually happening, and it's not just me going crazy or something. So um, I noticed this issue with my uh, my throttle a lot. I don't seem to have any issues with the stick, so I don't know if this is a driver issue, um, a hardware quality issue or something I, I'd assume it maybe be a driver issue I, I don't know it's hard to say you know I, <laughs> I don't work for side tech anyways um, so I think my toggle for switch I had my um, eject um, button for a, I, I'm playing star citizen on this and um, whenever <laughs> you know obviously I put it in an out of the way toggle switch so whenever I want to eject I don't you know accidentally hit it with my hand or anything um, so I know this is not getting hit, but what you'll notice is when I start moving the throttle around, if you watch this, uh, this, the buttons that are being pushed, you know, it should only be like these two keys highlighting. You're going to notice like real quickly, there's going to be a lot of like random dials getting pushed and you're going to see where my hand is, what I'm touching, um, that I'm not actually touching those buttons. That input is coming from God knows where, um, basically it makes the joystick unplayable. Uh, I, I don't know, like, I'm not going to be able to use this, so hopefully uh, Cytex sees this and um, they can get this ghost button press issue worked out. Okay, so real quick here, I'm going to move this throttle back and forth, so look at that. Do you see how it's pressing? It went and pressed, you know, these these rotary switches here, which uh, um, I did not touch. I mean, you, you can see my hand on the joystick. I apologize for the crappy video quality. There's just a lot of light in my... See, it, it pressed this button too. It pressed the uh, the big red, the E button. Yeah, so back and forth, back and forth. Now it's actually <laughs> not acting up that much. I notice like if I hit the rotary sometimes. And it hit this. This is, I think, my, I use this for third person camera view switch, so it's very disoriented when this randomly gets hit. I notice that these, both of these tend to randomly get hit, and this one likes to get stuck a lot. I don't know. Like, not physically stuck, but it just, oh, I, I think it's because when you, uh, when you move this out of middle range, uh, it's, it's the actual, the rotary control itself, okay. So, yeah, if I just keep moving this back and forth, which I'm constantly doing in-game, Look, it just hit this switch. It just hit this. I did not touch it. Oh, it just hit this. Oh, look, I mean, it's it, it's it's going crazy. I mean. The real problem is I think we had to couple this. Yep, look at all that. I mean, it's... Yeah, I mean, look at all these, <laughs> look at all these hats, uh, these toggles that's hitting, and the rotaries. I mean, it's just, it's way too random at way too high of a frequency. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> this throttle is, uh, yeah, um, please fix this, side tech. I, I don't think I need to demonstrate anymore, but this is what is actually happening, and this pretty much makes it unplayable. So anyways, uh. That's it, and thanks for watching.